tell us I'm in a whole bundle. No as long as me got life, I'm in okay. So hi guys, I'm doing this for my daughter Devine. As you know, Devine can cook, but Devine don't cook. <laughs> and I just want to talk to you for a little minute about our culture. So this is Holy Week, and as you all know, um, in Jamaica we have this nice sweet delicacy that we made our Easter bun. But I'm so disappointed with the Easter buns that are coming into America, and as a pastry chef from back home in Jamaica, I say, you know what, let me make my own bun. I've done it for about four years and people like it and the culture that we grew up in, we just can't abandon it. And I'm hoping all you young people will try and learn to do some of these things to carry on the tradition. You know, Uncle Baba can be, ask Uncle Baba if you show your offer at the Easter bun. Ask Aunt Matty if you show your offer mix it up. It is so easy. One of our staple Guinness is what I use. You can also use Malta. You can use Dragon Stout. And we make this nice sweet buns. There are other Caribbean countries that do bun for Easter, but let me tell you something. It's a white thing, like, it has a little sugar to it, but it's a white thing like a dinner roll. They are proud of it. It's their bun. You know our bun. So I'm using Easter bun, um, Guinness. I'm using honey and I'm using butter. I don't use margarine. Go all the way, go big or go home. Butter. And as you know, this time we don't eat meat. So when I was a child growing up from from Ash Wednesday, there was no meat. We gave up meat. It was the Lenten season leading up to the crucifixion and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But when it comes to Good Friday, we know the fried fish. Remember the fried fish and the hard old bread. And because our parents didn't cook, they didn't do big cooking on Good Friday. It was a sin to cook on Good Friday, to light fire. They say you were burning Jesus on the cross. Oh, Jesus, have mercy upon me. But we have evolved now, but our culture, we should not get away from our culture. So I'm going to be ripping up my Easter bun and you're going to see how easy it is. So last night I boiled my Guinness honey, um, molasses and fruits for about 5 to 10 minutes and it has been cool. So now we're going to go into mixing the Easter bun. As you know, you put your dry ingredients together. This is my flour and baking powder, to which I'm going to add my freshly cinnamon, ground cinnamon, and some nutmeg. Now, everybody has their own recipe. Some people had all kind of spices. I just do basic. I do the basic. And my vanilla, I'm going to add. A lot of times I do not use measurement. You just do by eye. I eyeball it. So this is a full bottle of Benjamin's vinegar, and I'm gonna put about a quarter of it into this. Right. The recipe that I'm doing it calls for one cup of stout, but because people are looking to to me to get a bun for Easter or something. I kind of triple this recipe, so my recipe, so I really can't tell you one cup of this, dash of that, da, 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 da. just see what I'm doing. Okay, so as I said, this cool mixture is here, and I have the flour mixture. With my baking powder, cinnamon, and nutmeg. I'm going to incorporate all that and slowly I am going to add this to add the dry to the wet okay so here goes in a little bit of time I am going to get my mixture incorporated the recipe also calls for an egg so I have six eggs beaten here 
so I'm gonna alternately mix my ingredients together. The browning was also added to this. As I go along, depending on the color that I'm getting, I may have to add some more browning. Browning? <laughs> not molasses, browning. That's not why I say browning. All Jamaican man want browning. <laughs> This, this consistency is totally different from the yeast consistency. The yeast consistency would be hard and do a lot of kneading and kneading to get the right texture. But this one is just like mixing a cake. As I said, if you can bake a fruit cake or you can rub up a total, you can make your own um, Easter bun. You can smell the the ups from the dragon stove. It's even making a little noise. <laughs> and the flour and the baking powder, they're all talking, singing, having some conversation. So the fruits that are in here is basically some of what I had left over from Christmas. Christmas, so I have raisins, I have currants, I had some cut up um prunes not a lot and then I have the mixed peel but I also have my cherries that I'm gonna use to like garnish the top of my bones see this is even easier than making a Christmas cake it done basically it is finished and I think my consistency is good Now, when baking your bun, your I like this pan. This is from for the house. This is normally what I do for the house. I like when you use a bun cake and slice it. it you get some nice, good slices, and it's kind of pretty. And you just drop the cheese in between. Yeah, and then I have the traditional tin. A friend will be getting this one. Another one we'll be getting this. This this too, we can use this to bake your buns in. So I am hoping to get one, two, three, four out of it. Uno big nah get. Oh, oh, go again. Uno big nah get uno one. Stuff like that. We don't even have a mix of these. Okay, so. Ali has spoiled up the plan. <laughs> So the, the, the greasing has to be precise. You gotta make sure that it is well greased. We don't flour this container. So I wanna make sure that every inch of it is greased properly. And then when it is cool, it just falls right. right. With the cherry. So, I'm just gonna add the cherry on top uh, just to give it a little decoration. The oven is prepared at 400 
degrees when you're doing your buns everybody's oven is different so with mine I place a baking sheet at the bottom with some water that also helps with your bun having a nice moist, moist texture, um, texture a nice moistness to it not dried out and also that the bun is not burnt so you know your you know your oven so you do what's likely and uh, my kids don't like a lot of raisins and stuff but I do yeah so, especially me yeah they've been pick raisins out so yeah but I love I'll raisins so we will be making a glaze for the bun and the glaze consists of margarine and honey and cinnamon so i'm just using cinnamon sticks two cups of water and it's going to boil down to one cup and now i'm going to be adding my honey which i think i'm going to add about a quarter, uh, quarter cup or close to a half a cup of honey and just a tip of molasses just to give it the color It's not that slow today it's mm -hmm. running see and I stop it and that's gonna come to a boil and then we get this nice shiny glaze as soon as the buns are out of the oven I just start brushing them with the glaze for them to get nice shiny but you'll see the end product Suck up the glaze. Do mm -hmm. another one. Mm -hmm. 